And what we do here is we simulate the vehicle. People don't realize that there's five times the computing power in a car than there is in even the most sophisticated smartphones. Could the Motor City be turning into Tech Town USA? We've hired some people from Silicon Valley. We've gotten somebody from Microsoft and a number of other companies. Some say it just might be. Detroit has seen an 82% increase in tech jobs in the past year at companies like Ford. Is there a tech job boom here, would you say? There is. I, I've never seen this much hiring in technology since I've been here. And I've really? been here a long time. Uh, my particular group, um, we're going to double in size over the next couple of years, um, and then we're going to triple over the three-year period. Josh Kitchens locked in a job with this Ford tech team. I was offered other positions, but I chose to stay here. I mean, salary was a big part of that. Detroit tech workers make an average of $71,000 a year, less than Silicon Valley, but a great living here. It's very competitive, and, it's, and they want us to stay. They want to rebuild Detroit. These Michigan State engineering students all had jobs lined up before graduation. Well, I chose engineering mostly for job security. Is there also a sense of, of pride in, in wanting to sort of tell the world, hey, uh, Detroit is still here, we're still kicking, we're still alive, yeah. and there's jobs here? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's so much potential in Detroit because it was down for so long that people see, you know, we could get in there for even, you know, less expensive. You can come in, start up a company, and there are people that need sure. jobs badly. So That's true. it's definitely a, a lot of opportunity. Google says this will be its biggest hiring year yet in Detroit. To actually come out of college and be able to basically be put on a career path um, is amazing. So why has there been such a big boom in tech jobs? Well, some people say in cities like right here in Detroit, so many jobs have been lost, the only real place to go was up. Employers, particularly in Autotown USA, are realizing that they need to be more efficient with their operations, and they're getting more efficient. They're becoming more competitive. Technology play is a really big part in that. Can we call this a tech boom in Detroit? I think I'd call it a boomlet. A boomlet. <laughs> I'd call it a boomlet because it, it still is not a, as big as some of the traditional tech centers. Um, so markets like New York City and Silicon Valley are certainly a little bit bigger, but they're not growing as fast as Detroit is anymore. And Detroit's not alone. Hard-hit cities in Ohio have also seen a substantial increase in tech jobs. Whether those deals closed or not doesn't matter. Detroit native and founder of Quicken Loans, Dan Gilbert, says his company is making some 1,200 new hires here, many in tech. Good, it's going to keep our talent here because we are now, as everybody knows, in a brain economy, not so much a muscle economy. We hope within a couple of years, the Midwest, uh, Detroit is, the, is really the central core of the whole Midwest for technology. <laughs> What would you all say to the naysayers out there who say Detroit is dead? I wouldn't say that Detroit is dead. I feel like it was probably sleeping for a while, but I think, I think it might be coming back at this point. In Detroit, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.